Hello everyone, it's Willa Latham here and I love antique porcelain. And today I have what I believe is the single most stunning piece that I've ever had in my um, collection. So I'm very proud to present this and I'll show it to you. Here you go, I'll get out of the way so you can have a little look. And um, this is a stunning dessert service made by Colport between 1865 and 1870. We don't know the exact year because in those years Colport was a bit sloppy with marking things so we don't really know but it's close enough and it's a dessert service consisting of 15 plates and three high-footed comports so it's pretty complete not totally complete but almost and it's in perfect condition. So this is a very special service because obviously you can see it's stunningly beautiful. It's got birds all over, uh, butterflies and, and all sorts of insects and it's beautiful. And it was painted by a very famous painter called John Randall. And those of you who, ha who have been following me on Instagram will know that I've been posting a lot about John Randall in the last month because I've had a lot of different plates from throughout his career because John Randall was famous for painting birds and he started very young. As a teenager, he was an apprentice in his uncle's workshop. And what they did there is that they would get blank pieces from the French factory, the very famous factory called Sèvres. And then they would paint those in the style of Sèvres. Then they would fake the marks and sell them on as Sèvres. And they were very popular in England. People bought them by the loads. Uh, people must have known they were fakes, but they were very beautiful, so they were worth it. So anyway, then when he was about 20 years old, John Randall um, was hired by Colport, the very famous factory in Shropshire. And he became one of the main painters at Colport's and he specialized in birds. He worked for Colport for 50 years until his eyesight failed him. And even then, he didn't sit still. He was also an amateur um, historian and mineralogist, and he wrote books about the potteries and about his um, his local um, his local area where he grew up in Shropshire. And um, he became the postmaster in the end of his life, uh, running a big post office, um, amazingly, and writing books basically. And he died at hundred years of age in 1910. So this service is probably one of the top pieces he made. I mean, he made quite a few top pieces, but I cannot imagine him making very many of these services because the amount of detail is just astounding. And I'm going to show you something. Um, I'll start out with this comport. Here you go. It's a beautiful high footed comport. Look at the foot, the amount of detail, the gilding, all the birds and, and butterflies on there. And then this is the picture. And I'll put it so you can see it well. And it's a pair of birds on a nest. The lady is uh, breeding. She's she's on, on top of the eggs. Um, the husband is looking out for food, I guess, or predators. And it's these beautiful flowers and the foliage. And now this is very typical of John Randall, that the detail of the birds. And probably if you look at the real birds, if you go to the zoo and you find the bird that this actually was, it will look exactly like that. Um, but it's so vivid, it's so real. And then what, what John Randall did was um, all the foliage around it, he would make it slightly transparent and also always a little bit in autumnal colors. So, you know, these colors are quite bright, but at the same time, they're sort of muted. So what happens is your eyes go directly to the birds that he wanted you to see. And that's very typical for John Randall. And it was quite advanced in those days because porcelain painting was more stylized in those days. And John Randall really you know, this is like a painting. You could put it in a frame and put it on the wall and you would think it's a painting. So that is that one. And I'll show you another one, um, completely different one. Here we go. 
this is a very English water bird flying away. Look at the at the movement, right? And and it's it's shrieking while it moves away. It probably got surprised and it flop flop flop. It's flopping through the reeds, and you can just see it and the reeds and the water, and it's all so finely painted um, with so much attention, so many colors, and again everything goes into the movement of this bird and look look at his feet it's like everything is into the movement so it's very carefully painted like a real piece of art um i'll show you another one uh let me see oh here is a very amazing one that is a real top piece this is an incredible bird of paradise i guess it's a bird of paradise i don't know i don't know much about tropical birds but um Again, you can probably find this bird in the zoo, or if you live in Asia, somewhere in the bush, it will probably live exactly like that. Uh, John Randall was very precise on his birds, he was always studying. And again, the foliage around it, everything, the landscape is, is transparent, so you're just totally focused on this bird. And look, what a proud bird, look at his face. It's really quite a bird. Um, and then, um, let me see, oh, there are so many, um, here's another very beautiful water bird, don't know what it is, uh, again, uh, the, the wife is sitting on the eggs, uh, it's brooding, and, you know, the, the he bird is looking around, looking over her, watching over her, I guess, and the reeds are so graceful, so, this is, I guess, I couldn't possibly show all of them to you. I would love to. There's too many of them. But uh, you can see more in my shop. It's gentlerattleofchina.com. If you follow me on YouTube, please press the subscribe button so that you'll get the video every week. And you can also find me on Instagram. And uh, well, thank you for watching.